On the east coast of Taiwan, the shoreline at Xin Se in Hualien has receded by over 100 meters in the last 20 years. But the old idea of overcoming the elements with concrete wave breakers and sea walls has only destroyed many stretches of the natural coastline and made things worse. In our continuing series of features on shoring up Taiwan's shoreline, we go to rapidly disappearing Xin Se to find out more. A field beside the Pacific Ocean forms a green beach, but scenes like this could soon be a thing of the past. This is all subsiding. It's sinking all the time. Before, the seawater didn't flood up to here. It only came up to there. Now waves crash over all the time. If a typhoon comes, they come up to here. Pointing one to two hundred meters out to sea, Zhang Chou-lin, who has lived in Xin Se on Taiwan's east coast for 60 years, says all this used to be sandy beach. It collapses all the time. When the typhoon comes or when it rains heavily, the fields collapse. But what can you do? Hundreds of tons of soil has disappeared into the sea without trace. According to land administration data, the coastline, which is the traditional home of Taiwan's Kavalan indigenous peoples, has receded by over 100 meters in the last 20 years. Because the land that residents live on is not worth that much. So along this stretch, even though it's collapsing very seriously, we only concentrate on some key places tribal villages and communities, where people live and have property to make sea defenses. We try to keep the shore in a natural state and try not to increase man-made structures. The threatened Xin Se community is by no means an exception. All along Taiwan's east coast, the thin grey lines of sea walls, gabions and wave breakers offer little resistance to the relentless pummeling of the waves. In fact, these concrete coverings have never worked. The best shoreline is the original beach, and the plants on the beach are even more important. Yet along the dramatic east coast of Taiwan, beaches and greenery are a rare sight. Because the coast does not get much sunlight, it's not easy to replant areas that have been stripped bare. Even coconut trees have lost their footing. The coast is not a single line and not an isolated unit or a small area. It is a zone, a coastal zone. So the state of the beach today is affected by moving sand, which affects the sand dunes. Any changes to the sand dunes affect the wind-breaking trees. So clearly the influence of the coast is not, like everyone thinks, limited to that place. It is a very serious and very large area. This stone monument to Taiwan's East Coast Highway says man overcomes nature. Looking at the battered road today, the monument seems like a memorial to time gone by when people thought they could hold back the sea with man-made structures and concrete wave barriers.